There we go, the Commodore's Brick House. You know this song, Brick House, always, you know, takes you back to the day when I used to know the girl. She was a Brick House. Bam, bam, bam. She was a Brick House. And then I met her 30 years later. I saw her again, and she wasn't a Brick House. She was big as a house. There you go. Good morning, Double R Radio, 843, Puerto Mañana, September the 26th, 2017. Live on Facebook. Join me right now and say hello. Say hey, Robert Rebus. I got my cup of Zito right now going, and uh, it's pretty deli show, so it really, really is. Um, good stuff, good cafecito. Anyways, uh, we got some rain going on here in San Antonio right now. Um, it's not so bad, but we do have some rain going on, and we're probably going to have rain all week long. Uh, we need some rain, so look, it's not so bad. It really, really isn't. Let's do some good morning shout-outs here. Here we go. Let's do some good morning. There we go. Good morning shout-out. Good out to Sally Sanchez. Good morning, Sally. Tim and Connie Villarreal. Good morning, Christina Romo. There we go. Good morning, H. Stanbury. Good morning, Gloria Trevino. Buenos dias, buenos dias. Rose Virgil. Good morning, Mark. Oh, uh, okay. Hang on, man. I'm trying to see something here. So something's blocking my way here. Mark, Mary. It's not Mark. It's Mary. There we go. Hey, man. Hey. There we go, Mary. LaDon Guerrero Tamayo. Man, that's a lot of names there, Mary. Good morning. Shout out to Gloria Trevino. Good morning. Primo. Rogelio Rivas. Good morning, Primo. How about them, Cowboys? There we go. Mark. Why do I keep on wanting to say Mark? Mary LaDon Guerrero Tamayo. Good morning. There we go. Sally. Good morning. Good morning. There we go. Rosemary Gomez. Good morning. Guadalupe. Borja. Buenos dias. Maru Flores. How about them, Cowboys? Um, Tuesday morning. And, uh, well, it's time for question of the day. And, uh, well, it's uh, going like, uh, you know, last night, no lie, I drank like five Shiner Box, and I decided to take a shot last night. I don't know why, but I decided to take a shot last night. I took a shot of Crown Royal Black, and uh, I said, you know what? I don't think I'm going to make the morning show, but I did, so we're good to go. Um, I tell you what, it is time for a question of the day. Good morning, shout out going to Elite Real. Good morning, brother. How you doing, amigo? Let's do this, sister. Let's see what's going on out here in our crazy, crazy world. You know, everybody, I think everybody has flown on a plane. If not everybody, kind of close to everybody. And there's always something. I'm not going to say oh, there's always something weird that happens when you go on a plane, but things happen sometimes. I'm going to give you some crazy stories of what has happened to some people that have flown on a plane. Check this out, man. This is some crazy stuff. It really, really is. Now, a person was sharing that a friend of mine, she says, was a flight attendant who told me that a guy called the stewardess and very politely asked the stewardess if the pilot could shut off one of the engines so his son could sleep peacefully. Tell you what, why don't we shut off both engines and he'll sleep really, really peacefully. <laughs> Are you serious? Turn off one of the engines because your son can't sleep? I don't think so. Anyway, <laughs> uh, check this out. Another one, crazy story. Um, there was a man who was having a heart attack on the plane. The passenger across the aisle yelled at the flight attendant because she was going to miss her connecting flight. Eh? A man's having a heart attack on the plane, but this other lady's worried that she's going to miss her connecting flight. She could care less about the man dying. How crazy is it get covered on this? <laughs> check this out. Anyways... A man who passed away on the plane, uh, the flight was diverted from one place to another because a man died on a plane, okay? Well, they brought the man's wife, the man who died, they brought his wife on the plane, they took the body out, and well, it just took about an hour and a half, two hours. After it was all said and done, a man who was still sitting on the plane said, because of the delay, are we going to get free drinks? <laughs> man, heartless, cruel. Get cabron, right, man? I would have asked for free drinks, too. Hey, man. <laughs> now, another one. Here we go. A couple was caught having sex in the back of the plane. And, and, and that's a pretty good idea right there. <laughs> Unfortunately, it was a guy and a guy. And they were having sex in the back of the plane. <laughs> uh, the stewardess told the pilot, hey, man. Hey, there are two guys having sex in the back of the plane. The pilot came out and he said, it's plain to see that they are having sex. No, nah, not funny. Not funny. Not plain to see that they're having... Nope, that's not funny. That's not funny whatsoever, Robert. You know, um, now, I'm going to give you all a fun fact, and this is true. This is really, really true. 
Um, good morning, Shara Galata, Nani Jimenez, good morning, Diana Yanis, good morning, Lisa Gazra, I mean, good morning, Diana Davila, good morning, good morning, good morning. Is there, uh, anyways, how's, oh, <laughs> Mary Ladon Guerrero Tamayo says, how's the coffee? You know, Mary, it's deli show. My coffee is really, really good. Very, very good, actually. Um, this is true. One time I was on a plane, I was going from San Antonio to Las Vegas. This is all true. I was going from San Antonio to Las Vegas. And um, somebody, I was kind of sitting in the back of the plane, and I don't. If you've never been on a plane, they always have a restroom at the front of the plane, and at the back of the plane. Well, somebody, I was sitting in the back of the plane. Somebody decided to go use the restroom in the back of the plane, and uh, they weren't going number one. They were going number two, and I'm talking about two, two, two. Because when I didn't know nobody, you don't know what you're what they're doing in there. But when they came out, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I told the students, is there any way you can put me in the front of the plane because I don't think I can handle what's going on back here. She goes, no, sir, I apologize. And I go, man, <laughs> really, man, you know, really, I'm going to give you all, you know, some advice. If ever you're going to fly in a plane, take care of your business, your number one or your number two, before you board the plane. Because really, man, because if you got to go number two on the plane, seriously, I don't care how quiet you try being, I don't care how you try to make it as respectful as possible, you're either going to hear it or you're going to smell it, or possibly both. Really, man, when that guy was on the, when he was in the back, you know, doing the toilet stuff, I thought the plane was malfunctioning. I kept on hearing some backfiring. It wasn't the plane. The man was doing some backfires in the toilet. I said, man, get out of there, man. Man, so I'll never, ever sit in the back of a plane again. I'm never going to do that. Good morning, shout out going out to Joyce Azaragun Zivas, Colorado in the casa. Good morning, Sandra Ramirez. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Now, let's get to my question of the day. Uh, P.D. Vara, buenos dias, buenos dias. Um, now, we're talking about rain. We have uh, quite a bit of rain going on here in San Antonio right now. And uh, so I was thinking to myself, you know, because I've seen this happen before. It really, really has. So, my question of the day, have you ever gotten drenched, or should I say, gotten caught in the middle of a rainstorm where you're out there and you get all wet and you're all dressed up, your hair's all down, your makeup's all dripping or whatever the case may be? Have you ever gotten caught in the rain? Head on over to Robert Reeves Internet Radio Group page right now and answer me, pregunta, por favor. Have you ever gotten caught in the rain. Good morning, shout out to Pete Ivana. Good morning, Pete. How you doing, amigo? There we go. It's the man, it's the Frankie boy. Aranda to me. Good morning, good morning, Irma Medina. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Anyways, I tell you what, it is Tuesday morning, and uh, everybody's celebrating that the Cowboys kicked some ass last night. Really, man, it didn't look good for the Cowboys early. It really, really didn't. By the way, I did have a bet, and my buddy, DJ Edward Castillo, who always joins me live on Facebook, like right now, since he lost our bet, he hasn't gone on. What a sore loser, right? What a sore loser. <laughs> I should call him and put him on live. He goes, hey, I'll bet you $10. I'll take the Arizona Cardinals. And I go, all right. All right, you take the Arizona Cardinals, and I'll take the Dallas Cowboys. Let's go. Anyways, it's the Frankie Boy. Let us let's do something together. Brother Frankie Boy from uh, the original Cumbia Kings. There we go. The Cumbia Kings in the casa. There we are. Anyways, it's the Pete Ibarra. Good morning, amigo. How you doing, Pete? Long time no see, brother. So anyways, my buddy wanted to bet. He took the Cardinals. I took the Cowboys. He wanted to bet 10 bucks. I said, all right, we'll bet $10. And he always joins me live on Facebook, but he hasn't joined me this morning. What a sore loser! What a tono, all right. <laughs> you know, um, one thing that um, I don't mind doing once in a while since I'm driving around all the time now. Good morning, shout out, going out to my prima. There we go, Irene Gallona, buenos dias, buenos dias, prima. Is sometimes I like going to a different Mexican restaurant, a little hole in the wall Mexican restaurant, just to check it out, something different. You never know. It could be great. It could be, it could suck. You don't know until you try it. Yesterday, I went to a brand new restaurant that I've never been to before on Wheatner and I-35. I don't remember the name of it. I just know I stopped there. And check this out. This is all true. I had their special for five ninety nine. Check this out. Two enchiladas, rice, beans, a crispy taco, salad, two tortillas, a tall tea for five ninety nine. Woohoo! Those are my kind of prices. Really? Two enchiladas, rice, beans, a crispy taco, a salad, 
two tortillas and iced tea for five ninety nine. And I said, man, so I told the waitress, uh, how much is an extra for a sexual favor? And she goes, that's 99 cents. Well, throw that sexual favor in there for 99 cents. No, I didn't do that. I thought about it, but I didn't do it. Anyway, that's it. Well, let's keep it going. Just to, do not forget this to, to answer my question of the day. Have you ever gotten caught in the rain? You know, gotten drenched, man. You're all wet and everything. That's happened to me a couple of times, but we'll talk about that in a while. Let's keep it going. Little something by Roy Seek the Vessel. Tuesday morning. Good morning. Double R Radio. Ah, there we go. Frankie Boy, as Linda says, hey, hole is there. The wallets are the best. <laughs> Poodle Grammy style action. There we go. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Yes, head on over to my radio station right now and join me. Eh? And if you don't have my mobile app, go to robertrebusradio.com, download my mobile app, and join me right now. Buenos dias.